Let's take a look at how to work with the dynamics mapping function in Cubase. Dynamics mapping allows us to musically change the volume of MIDI events. And different instruments can respond to dynamics from different types of MIDI messages. Drum instruments often use MIDI velocity. Orchestral instruments can use MIDI continuous controllers such as CC1 or CC11 for modulation or expression. And there's always the ability of using MIDI controller 7 for MIDI information for main volume. So let's go ahead and take a listen to a little cello part. Now instead of worrying about the different types of messages, what I want to do is maybe just enter in piano or forte or mezzo forte. So to do that, what we want to do is to first figure out what type of MIDI information is needed by the instrument to control the dynamics. And here we are in Halion 7 and we have Iconica and we could choose different types of MIDI messages, whether it's a MIDI controller or velocity to change the dynamics. So we'll start with velocity. So instead of having to edit my velocity information here, I'm going to click in my controller lane and we'll scroll down and just choose articulations and dynamics. So I'm going to now just enter in an initial value, click in the upper left hand corner and we could open up kind of the mapping page. So I want to set my initial dynamic mapping. So let's say from, uh, I want it to be from pianissimo to fortissimo as opposed to four P's to four F's. And I want this to be set to change velocities. So as I want to, enter in different dynamics. We'll say we're going to start with, and I could change a dynamic value just by using my mouse scroll wheel to increment and decrement the value. So let's say we're going to start with a piano and then when it gets to this part, let's go to forte and then back to piano. So as we listen, Now, if my instrument is set to respond to have our dynamics from a MIDI continuous controller, so let's say I will set this to now respond to MIDI controller 11 or expression, we will enter in our initial value. And I want to tell the mapping to use uh, our controller and we'll say, let's go ahead and set this to be MIDI our CC 11 message so that this will map the incoming MIDI message here. We're going to turn off dynamics and let's set our dynamic mapping like we were before. And as we do this, I'm going to be a little more musical. So I want to do uh, forte. And then you can see that as I do this, that it'll snap to the particular notes. So let's say now I want this to be Piano, when it goes to high notes, I want it to be forte, back to piano, forte. And then we'll say piano from here. So as we listen to this, instead of having to worry about different MIDI CCs, we can just change our values there. Now, if we, when we want to see this, maybe in our notation editor, we can now just go to our scores and we'll say open our score editor. And you may notice that as if you zoom in, that we can see some of the dynamics actually kind of mapped, but it's kind of in pink. And if we wanted to see our dynamics in with normal black font, we could go to our preferences and let's go to underscores to colors for additional meanings and we'll see our dynamics mapping. I'm just going to uncheck that and we'll hit apply. And now we can see our dynamics have been just mapped directly into our score editor so that we can change all of our different values. And at this point we could just kind of tidy this up a little bit and have our dynamics that we've entered in musically in our key editor automatically translate directly into our notation view so that I don't have to worry about working with different MIDI CC values or constantly tweaking velocities. 
If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.